was able to show off their quick strike ability. Partner, you know the real key is to stopping a good passing attack? You tell me. Being able to tackle as soon as a guy catches the football. Didn't work out there. No, because when you give up the big run after catch, the rack yardage, that puts your defense in a big-time stressful position. A lot of rack yardage and a touchdown there on the big play. is the Chargers punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. And this will be taken at the 13. 21 yards. Well done on the return. And the Broncos take over. First down and 10. Here's the Denver offense now as they get set to take over here. And following that long touchdown pass, a one-play drive last time, to see if the defense, you, you know they're ready. They don't want that to happen again. And you would have thought they would have been ready the last time. I mean, true. that's what you work on all the time. Make sure that no one gets behind you. That's the cardinal sin of defense, not giving up the long pass. They did. Let's see how they adjust. So a big pickup that time, and Charles, defending AFC Player of the Week, maybe bucking towards another award this week. Yeah, and they say they don't really care about the individual awards. You and I both know they do. it means a lot to them. It means respect around the league. And if he's able to show those kind of hands all game long, he can win a second one. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 41. Here's Flacco. 20! Wide open receiver complete. And he is into the end zone for a Denver touchdown. As his guys are in for six. And the Broncos push further out in front. I know Paul Revere talked about by land or by sea, right? You know, one by land, two by sea. He didn't mention air because right now we're seeing a big-time performance, aren't we? That's two touchdowns so far in this game. Where'd you pull that one from? And, you know, every now and then I actually listened in history class. <laughs> and you're, you're just a scholar all the way around. You're reading all the time. I like that you fit that in the broadcast. <laughs> you know, I just grab a nugget when I can. Flacco, and this is incomplete. He was looking to get it to Philip Lindsay there, and that'll bring up second down. The well, touch and time are critical for those types of throws. He put a lot of zip on that one. He did just a little bit more finesse trying to get it to his back. There's a throw to the merits taken in by his tight end, and they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 19 yards the pick up there. Move the chains. And with that completion, he's now north of 200 yards here in the first half. Boy, a tough start for the secondary defensively. It is, and it's got to put a dent in their confidence. And, you know, you always want to keep that up and feel like you can always bounce back after plays. But with the kind of numbers he's putting up here, it's starting to wear on them a little bit, I think. So they're looking at each other and trying to figure out what defense will work and how can they play better without getting beat deep for big passes. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there. Trying to take a shot, but it's third down. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target. Incomplete. On is the Chargers punter now as he's on here to punt it away. And he's able to get it out of there, and this is a pretty good kick. And it's fielded at the 34. Might have needed just one more block as it stands. 37-yard return. And it'll be a short field for the Broncos as they take over first and 10. 
Set to start another drive, Joe Flacco and the Broncos. And he's been effective in their winning, so it makes it a little easier to put a montage together. It really does, doesn't it? Because we can see him throwing it really well. But how about everything else that's going on? Protection has been excellent. And, of course, the guys catching the ball have provided some highlight reels themselves. Yeah, I mean, it's not always just one man. He's been good, but you got the guys catching the ball, too. Yeah, you name it. It's all coming together for them. What they call that synergy, everything working together really well. And right now, he's the focal point of it.